So now I'm talking about the Olympics, and I know that this uh, Olympic issue has been spoken a lot by a lot of people, but I want to just give my take on what I saw in the Olympic event and the opening ceremony and what has been happening. For example, if you check around, you will see that the Olympics um, people, let's say Olympic community, committee now have been erasing pictures and videos that are relating to the Olympics and denying that it is directly relating to Christianity and you see even some uproar where some people will say Christians are taking it out of context it is Dionysus, it's not um, Christianity and all that and all that so I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I saw or what I've seen that is happening during the Olympics the setup of this particular Olympic ceremony is depravity. Let's not even talk about oh, he's talking about Christ or whatever. Let's just talk about its own um, its own very nature. It's pure depravity. If we're to say okay, let us go as they are said. They say it's Dionysus. They're talking about Dionysus and the party of the gods or whatever. It's still an orgy. So what exactly are they saying? What kind of message are you communicating? And let me tell you one thing I've noticed about the gay movement. It's just about sex. It has nothing to do with freedom. It is just about having as much depraved sex as you can. Nothing else. So they like to make it as if it is something special. It's not anything special. It's just about sleeping with whoever you want, whenever you want. And that is to them is life because that is what they worship they worship their flesh so it is an orgy of anything goes and let me show you proof that anything goes for example this picture of this guy standing close to a kid and his genitals is out that is, is an all-round party mm. <laughs> that allowed anybody <laughs> oh my word it is just shocking to me that they pitch this to somebody and he let it go. One of the things I've even saw that, will I say is encouraging, is that non-Christians saw the, the nature of this of this opening ceremony. We see people like Elon Musk, we see people like uh, Andrew Tate, we see people like Ryan Gatt, strange people, strange, strange, strange people talking about this issue why because they saw it it's not a hidden thing now after we have gone out of that we have we have left the the nature of the depravity we have gone above blasphemy against god let us now talk about the next group or what they are trying to do which is bring satan in the forefront this is where i I, I, I don't even get the idea. If they tell you that Satan is so so and so so person, he's somebody that represents evil, he's bad, he wants to kill. Why will one of the design or the stuff you are doing be the four one of the four horsemen? What kind of craziness? <laughs> and listen, the four horsemen, what this one that they brought out represents death. Death! Farming death according to Revelation chapter 6. Farming death. And I saw the one that is riding upon it. Death. And it seemed to be something that, oh, let's not talk about this. It's just one of those things. Crazy. Crazy. And the final thing I want to talk about concerning it is the apology, the so-called apology that the Federation gave. Is this what you call an apology? Let's listen to the apology. It was never uh, an intention uh, to, to show disrespect to uh, any uh, religious group. Uh, on the contrary, uh, I think that Majorly really tried to uh, really intend to, to celebrate community tolerance. That was uh, his word yesterday. And, uh, and looking at the result of the polls that we shared, uh, we believe that this ambition was, uh, was achieved. If people uh, have taken any offense uh, we are of course really really sorry ma volonté n'est pas d'être subversif ni de me moquer ni de choquer ma volonté okay. est simplement de the the guy that did it. now let me let me stop you and talk about it this guy 
is said to be a satanist and a Jew <laughs> is satanist which is <laughs> but you, you always find one there's always a Jew that let's continue dire que euh, nous sommes ce grand nous et que euh, euh, hier soir c'était des idées républicaines c'était des idées euh, euh, d'inclusion c'était les idées de bienveillance de générosité euh, euh, des idées euh, de solidarité bref euh, de ce que je crois nous avons follement besoin en france on a le droit de s'aimer comme on veut avec qui on veut euh, en France, on a le droit de croire ou de ne pas croire. Euh, en France, on a le droit, euh, on a beaucoup de droits, voilà. Et euh, c'était l'idée de, de trans faire trans transparaître cette, cette, euh, ces valeurs-là à travers, à travers la cérémonie. It doesn't seem like an apology. It looks like something that just trying to patch something, patch it, patch it, whatever happens. It's not an apology. It's not an apology at all, at all. That is where I'm going to end this video today. Do with it whatever you want to. Let me personally, the Olympics, after that, the Olympics just lost. It lost the magic that it used to have in my own side. So, um, if you like this content, like, share, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Shalom.